From monsters to masses to a whole bunch of strange creatures, we've got a mysterious one today as we cover part two of the top 10 bizarre creatures discovered after tsunamis. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Trunko. Trunko is the unofficial name of a strange mass that appeared on the coast of South Africa back in October of 1924. The initial source for this strange beach mystery claimed that this mass was a fish-like polar bear, which has me asking, what in the fresh hell is that? Whatever creature this is apparently was first spotted just off of the coast fighting two killer whales. It is said that it was seen using its tail to attack the whales, and it apparently was able to lift itself out of the water by about 20 feet or 6 meters. It is said that this creature had thick white fur on it, which is why people are explaining that it's like some sort of polar bear fish. Scientists never ended up testing the creature, I mean this was back in 1924, so aside from the few photos of it that exist, we really have no idea what what exactly this creature was at all. In our number 9 spot today we have the Monotuck Monster. This is a creature that is likely one of the most famous on this list today as when it was found back in July of 2008, the photos of it quickly circulated the internet. People were reporting that there was a strange and mysterious monster that had washed up on shore and it was a quote ferocious looking carcass. I mean, saying what these people were, I can completely understand why people were talking about it and trying to figure out what it could be. It looks like nothing I've ever seen before, and it looks completely terrifying. Of course, the internet is full of theories about everything, and in reference to this creature, people thought it could be a turtle without a shell, even though that would have been impossible, a dog, a large rodent, or even an experiment from the nearby government animal testing facility. In the end, it actually hasn't ever been officially confirmed, but the most accepted answer is that perhaps it was a raccoon that had lost its fur and begun to decompose. Pose. Either way, all the options really are terrible, and this creature has gone down in terrifying history. In our number 8 spot today, we have the Murray Wai Monster. This mass was found on a New Zealand beach, and it was huge. To make it even more strange and sort of ominous looking, it was completely covered in barnacles. People thought it was some sort of alien at first because it looked so bizarre, and it really had people scratching their heads trying to figure out what exactly it could be and where it could have come from. People of course thought that perhaps it could be a washed up whale and some thought it was an alien capsule, so when I say that the theories spanned quite a range, I really do mean it. While there has never been any official confirmation of what this mass was, there are people who believe it is just a piece of driftwood that is covered in gooseneck barnacles. Maybe I don't want to believe it because it's such a normal explanation, but I'm just saying. That's a massive piece of driftwood if that is in fact what it is. In our number 7 spot today we have the blobs. People began to become baffled when thousands of pink blobs began to appear on shore. It's like they were basically invading the beach and no one had ever seen them before. Locals in the area described what they were seeing like little water balloons all over the place. They were described as being super squishy and they had people completely confused. People thought that they were some sort of eggs or Maybe that they were a strange jellyfish, but whatever they were, there were thousands of them up and down the beach. After more research was conducted, people were able to actually receive an answer as to what they could be, and as it turns out, it's a lot more normal than some of the other things on this list today. These squishy blobs turned out to be a sort of sea cucumber that had been washed ashore after the storms shifted the sands and exposed them. In our number 6 spot today we have the sea nugget. What is now being referred to as a sea nugget washed up on on a California beach and was immediately the source of much confusion. The person who initially stumbled upon the sea nugget snapped a photo of it because they were simply so dumbfounded by what they were seeing. They shared the photo to social media to see if anyone else had any answers. They said it weighed around 7 pounds and if they had to guess it was about 5 inches wide. When they posted this to reddit, of course many people weighed in with their thoughts and feelings, but one response kind of rose above the rest as the most likely explanation. The the reply read, quote, I'd say that, my friend, is a long dead sea hare. I'm not gonna lie, I had to google what the heck a sea hare is, and as it turns out, they are mollusks. While this is of course the explanation brought forward by a reddit user, it has still never been confirmed exactly what this sea nugget was in the end, but this one might be the most likely. In our number 5 spot today we have the headless creature. Over on the shores of Newfoundland's Bay of Islands here in Canada, people were in for quite a surprise when they found some sort of unidentified headless creature that had been washed up on shore. This mystery creature was 15 feet long. 
long, and it's said that 10 of those formed a tapered tail. Despite the fact that this creature was found back in February of 2010, there still has been no official announcement as to what exactly it could be. There are many fishermen in the area who have lived their entire lives there, and who of course are very familiar with the creatures that live in the sea, and none of them have ever seen anything like what they saw on the shores that day. Perhaps there's a perfectly reasonable explanation behind the mystery, but maybe it's just something that we've never even seen before. At this point, it's a mystery we may never really get the answers to. In our number 4 spot today, we have the orange alien. Back in August of 2011, the shores of northwestern in Alaska saw something that had definitely not exactly been seen there before. There were billions of tiny orange spores washing up on the shores and people were certain that it was the beginning of either the apocalypse or an alien invasion. It was literally like an orange tide and people were rightfully pretty freaked out. After some investigation and research was conducted by experts, it became clear what the real culprit was. Rust. It turns out that these fungal spores were a result of spruce needle rust, which only infects plants, not humans. The spores were driven to these coastal waters by wind, and while it definitely freaked people out, in the end it turned out to be something much less worrisome than the first thought. In our number 3 spot today we have an opa. Just over a decade ago, some of those on the beaches of Lushadia were in for quite a surprise when they came across what would definitely be considered an unusual sight. Back in 2010, there was a giant brightly colored opa fish that just happened to wash up on shore. Residents of the area explained that it was kind of like having an alien show up in your backyard as this fish is normally an exotic deep water fish. These fish, also sometimes known as moonfish, are quite large and can be very heavy as well. It certainly was quite the sight for those who happened across it. In our number 2 spot today we have the Sakhalin Sea Wolf. This creature was of course one that was found on the shore of Sakhalin Island, which is an area that is close to Japan in the most eastern part of Russia, about 5,000 miles east of Moscow. This creature was initially found by Russian soldiers and to be honest, the origins of it are completely unknown. This creature is not only really strange to look at, but upon examination, no one is really sure what exactly it is. It is said that the bones and teeth of this creature are not those of a fish. It's also apparently not a crocodile or an alligator according to skeletal remains, and somehow the skull kind of resembles that of a canine, but it's not a dog as the bottom part of the body seems to be most like a fish. People believe that the most likely known thing that this creature could be is perhaps a whale, but it has just never been confirmed. In our number 1 spot today we have the Rockness Monster. This is a creature that was discovered washed up on shore back in 2015, and ever since then it has been the source of much mystery. Passerbys first spotted this creature just at the edge of the water and estimated that it was about 5 feet in length. The creature had a mouth that was still full of large, razor sharp teeth, and someone even said that the creature had a large enough mouth that you could fit a whole fist inside, which I personally think is a weird observation to make but a descriptive one nonetheless. Once photos of this beast started to circulate, people began to believe that perhaps this creature was actually some sort of unidentified ancient deep sea creature. Of course, people have come forward with some more reasonable explanations, but no story has ever been confirmed. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye!